Hey guys, I'm Amarat and in this video tutorial I will cover preparation of your object for conversion to MDU. So let's start. We've got some sort of model and uh, let's assume that you haven't used Blender because if you have Blender and if you are using Blender, well, you've got your object already in Blender. But in my case, I will need to import my object into Blender first. So in my other is object uh, object format exporter you need to activate it as a plugin you definitely can uh, find online some tutorial how to do it so i will export my object as well as object file as wave front object and now i will open it in blender so let's just assume that you haven't used blender because uh, if you have used blender this will be rather easy and fast for you but for those of you who don't know blender well uh, i will be a little bit you know a little bit slower here so go to file and go to import here and you want to import wavefront object now we need to select our object here or directory in which our object is and just double click on it and when we've got our object here by the way you can move in blender by using middle mouse button and by scrolling your mouse so you can navigate around your object by doing this and when you've got our object here we want to select it so you need to right click on it so now it's selected and by pressing tablet key you will access uh, this edit mode and we want to use this remove doubles here so you got just 100 percent sure that our object uh, it has a little bit of the geometry by the way the in blender your object should face this direction this in y axis in this direction so this is frontal part of your object this is back part this will be right side this will be left side so place your object like this or rotate it like this in Maya, for example, you want to make uh, your object facing minus Z axis. So Z axis is in this direction and this is minus Z axis. And in this direction should your uh, models face. So now I am in front of my object. Then I'm behind my object. Now I'm right to it, left to it. Okay, so like this. So you don't have your object rotated in and then another way so you know this is this is especially important when it comes to items because you want to have your items facing correct direction so we've got our model here and we want to make some changes to it so it you know uh, so our uv maps don't get mess up because when you convert your object into m2 file what can happen is that you get uh, texturing bugs, you got stretch textures and so on. So to avoid this, you will need to, to add some modifiers. So make sure that your object is selected, go to this key here and you want to add modifier. So add modifier and you want to add modifier called edge split, this one here. Uncheck edge angle, just make sure that only sharp edges is checked and you can click on apply or you don't have to rely. now when you've got our modifier applied you want to do another thing you want to access our uv map editor so click on this corner here drag it like this and now click on this white cube down here and go to uv image editor now move again to your object so you've got your mouse in left part and press tabulator to access edit mode and now we can see our UV map here. Again, move your mouse to the right side. So you've got it here in, on your UV map and press A. Now our whole UV map is selected. You can see that it is orange. And now we want to use this UVs menu and we want to use this uh, function here, seems from islands. And on the left part here, you want to uncheck mark seams and check mark sharp. When this is done with every single geoset or polygroup or whatever you call it uh, in your model you are done so you would need to do these two things that modifier and this uh, scenes from ions thing for every single part of your model when you are done with this you can export your model so i will want to go to uh, so use this file again and you will want to use export wavefront object 
we need to export our object again to Wavefront object. And now select some directory. So let's use the same again. And I will just override my old object here. And we will need to set these export object options in order to make our object work for our converter. So I've got my settings already per set here. And as you can see, you need to have forward x, z up, and you want to you want to apply modifiers, include edges, you want to write normals, include UVs, write materials, triangulate faces, objects as object groups, and every single another option should not be checked. When this is done, you can uh, click on this plus sign to save your presets. So you've got it here like this. And every single time you are exporting object which is to be converted to M2, make sure that you've got these settings here like this. So when this is done, you can export your object. Now our object is exported. It is here. It is prepared for conversion. And I will cover conversion process in another video. So for now, thanks for watching guys, I hope this was useful for you, and as always, happy modding.